Well, nice to see you too. How is it possible that Colleen knows about you going to hospital oh. yesterday and I didn't? It was just a precaution and Miles was with me, so it didn't really matter. But if it was just a precaution, then why would you go out of your way to keep it from me? I didn't go out of my way, Charlie. It's just you're in the city all day with Dad. You couldn't have been there anyway. And, you know, I don't want to worry you. Ruby, if you're having a problem with your diabetes, I want to know about it. It was just a silly mistake. OK, I was rushing to get an SE in on time. I skipped lunch. Yeah, so you're not eating properly, which is why I brought these over. We've got so much food in the carpet. Jeff is totally all over that. Yeah, so over it, you ended up in hospital yesterday. OK, that's not fair. No, Ruby, what isn't fair is that you didn't let me know what was going on. I expect to be kept in the loop. OK, I will. OK, so no more covert visits to the hospital? I promise. OK, <laughs> good. Where is Jeff anyway? He's out for a run. Is that his underwear in your bedroom? Right. And does Irene know that the two of you are sharing a room? Well, at least I can make sure you're eating well. Charlie, Charlie, come on. Look, I don't need this. I've just managed to stop Jeff fussing over my every move. Now, I will keep you informed. I will. OK? But you just got to let me do this by myself. Sit down, guys. Brecky's almost ready. You need to start the day right, OK? I've got whole grain cereal, fruit and artificial sweetener. Oh, good. Now we have two. Charlie, we have all this stuff. OK, well, today you don't need to make breakfast for yourself, do you? Well, this must be fun. I mean, you only just got me off your back. Now Charlie's climbed up there. I mean, she means well, but she's going to drive me crazy. Is it safe to leave you here with her? You don't have to leave yet, do you? The competition's fierce, babe. I mean, do you know how many people are out there looking for jobs? Yeah, but you're not even unemployed yet. I mean, it's going to be weeks before Irene loses Marina birth. Yeah, and it could take me weeks to find a job. I mean, I've only padded my resume. It's only half page full. All right, let's eat. Uh, actually, Charlie, I've got to go. We're going to job hunting. Oh, what are you looking for? Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Pretty much anything that pays. Well, you'll find something. Don't forget to flash them your cute smile and you'll be fine. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, and when you get time, I want to have a chat to you about doing the right thing by Rubes. OK, Charlie, we're going to eat this delightful breakfast and then you and I are going down the diner for some decent coffee and a serious chat. OK, and no arguments. Concert tickets on sale or something? I told you they were causing an obstruction. Who oh, is? That was a traffic jam. He'd take these and finish the orders and he'd come out. The computers are popular today. Yeah, someone must have found something funny on YouTube. Now, yeah, what can I get you, ladies? Uh, a couple of cappuccinos, please. But no chocolate on rubies and no sugar in that either. All oh, right, this is for your special diet. <laughs> Wow, that was an embarrassing one. If Colleen's going to be serving you, it's good that she knows what you can and can't eat. Yeah, but Charlie, this is exactly what I don't want. What? People treated me like I'm some kind of invalid. It's what Jeff did and now you're doing it. That's only because we care about you. Yeah, well, I don't want you to make a fuss over me. And before you start, I'm not sleeping with Jeff, just so you know. OK. <laughs> yes, I had a problem with you sleeping with Xavier, but they were more about my issues. I trust you with all of that now. What I don't feel good about is you being diagnosed with an illness and I know nothing about what you're going through. Yeah, but Charlie, you're worrying about nothing. I had a hiccup. I got help. Ruby, you had a massive hypo. That's not a hiccup. It was serious enough that you ended up in hospital. Hypos are part of being a diabetic. They're going to happen every now and then, no matter how careful I am. OK, how about this? If I promise to keep you posted, then you promise just to let me handle things and stop trying to run my life. Yeah, OK, deal. Right, now, what on earth is going on here? Oh, my giddy arm. Oh, what's going on? How did they get onto adult websites? Who's responsible for this? I don't believe this. This site should be blocked. Rach, hey. Hey. I was hoping to catch up with you today. Is Ruby OK? Oh, well, actually, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, having her end up in hospital like that, it really threw me. Well, it's never good when someone has a hypo. So you're worried about her too? I think it's important that she learns to take care of herself and manage her diabetes. 
Oh, I know she's read all the literature. Well, that's great. But as I explained to her, she needs to get herself into a routine. She's got to check her levels and take her insulin and start listening to what her body's telling her. Look, I think she learned a lot from yesterday's experience. Well, I hope so. I just wish she wasn't so fiercely independent. Mm. Well, it can be a good thing. She's the one who needs to be responsible for her diabetic care. And look, it helps to have strong people around her that support her, and she definitely has that. Any work going and somehow mustering sheep and fixing fences just didn't cut it in Yabby Creek. Uh, and I suppose your experience on the trawler didn't help either? We only just started looking. You'll find something. Oh, so how'd it go with Charlie this morning? <laughs> yeah, we had a good chat at the diner. Hopefully that did the trick and she'll back off. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Jeff. Hey. I ran into Rachel earlier on the beach today. Uh, how convenient. So I guess you checked up on me, yeah? Well, yes, we talked about you. Mm. And she was saying that this is a really important Charlie, time Charlie, I really need you. you to back off, OK? Actually, I've given this situation a lot of thought and I think you should move home. That way I can keep an eye on you, at least while you get the hang of your new routines and things. No, no way. I can totally look after myself. Yeah, and I'm here too, you know, if she needs anything. No offence, Jeff, but you've been a boyfriend for, what, a few weeks? OK, you're not in a position to know what's best for her. OK, that is so unbelievably rude. Why can't you just get the message, Charlie? I need to do this by myself, so can you please just butt out? Mesdames, Messieurs, let the game commence. Do you always play for such... What did you do that for? We're getting up to the good bit. Oh, I just want to say how good this is. Are hey, you and me chilling? Hey, Charlie hassling us. Then I guess Irene gets back soon and then everything changes again. So what you're saying is that while we can, we should spend more time being romantic instead of just watching romantic movies. Mm. Only me. Oh. Uh, Charlie, what's with the bags? Well, I figured if you're not going to come home, then I'm coming here to stay with you. I've already spoken to Irene and she said I can stay in her room at least until next week when she gets back. Listen, we both agree that diabetes is a serious condition and neither of you are emotionally equipped to handle it alone. But how is it okay for you to just burst into my life and start making these kind of decisions? It's okay because I'm your mother and I'm worried about you. <sighs> yeah, well, I liked you better when you were my sister. Right, well, so much for our alone time together.